Hello everyone and welcome back again to another day of World Cup action. Japan against Croatia is about to unfold in the round of 16 at this year's World Cup. Stay tuned for all the action. Croatia against Japan in yet another round of 16 match that will cover today the first one the one played later on today is going to be Brazil against South Korea but for now we have the winners of group E Japan against second place team in group F Croatia Japan with a wonderful victory in their last group stage match against Spain which granted them the first position in group E with six points They've lost, shockingly, to Costa Rica after also beating Germany. A very interesting situation, but I'll give you more details after the anthems. So here we have the Japanese lineup with Gonda in goal, Yoshida Taniguchi, Tomiyasu, and Nagatomo in defense. We find Ito, Morita, and Tanaka in the middle, and in attack, Maeda, Kamada, and Doan. So Japan managed to qualify after beating two former world champions in their group Germany and Spain with the exact same scoreline 2-1 they've lost to Costa Rica who also had a chance to qualify it was an incredible ending to an incredible group but here's how Croatia is lining up Livakovic will start between the sticks Juranovic, Lovren, Vardyol and Sosa in defense three at the middle led by captain Modric, Brozovic and Kovacic and Kramaric, Levaya and Perisic will make up the attack. Croatia finishing second in Group F. They have drawn 0-0 in the first match against Morocco. They have then beaten Canada. 4-1 score, turning things around in that match after conceding in the second minute. Then another draw against Belgium, 0-0. And uh, a score which pretty much eliminated Belgium from this World Cup. Here's the first chance for Croatia. Not a finishing on par with that great one. Looking back at the history between these two sides, we have pretty much seen everything. Three previous meetings, a victory for both sides and a draw. Out of these three matches, two happened at the World Cup in the group stages, Croatia winning 1-0 in 1998 and then a goalless draw in 2006. Oh, what a tackle there. But as Croatia keeps the ball, we're not going to see a free kick awarded. Nagatomo. Morita, Taniguchi, Kamada passing to Tanaka, chance for a shot now, Kamada had time to turn around and get a better shot than that certainly, preferred to speed things up and that kind of made a mess of it, with the back attacking, here's Kamada again passing behind to Tanaka. Kamada with another good chance, shooting possibility, pass in front of goal, and Levakovic saves, it doesn't go out, remains with the Japanese, intervention there from Kovacic, gives away the throw in, Maeda picks the ball up, throws it to Nagatomo, cuts inside the box, it's a good opportunity, he takes the shot himself and wins the corner kick this time. 
I was uh, expecting the pass. And so was his teammate, certainly. But he preferred to shoot. And it still ends well as they get another chance from the corner. It's crossed inside. Headed by Tamaguchi. What a save. Danger is not yet averted. Lubakovic is needed a second time. And after a bit of struggling, he manages to retain the ball. Good first few attempts for Japan. But now it's Croatia's turn to attack. Livaya passes to Modric. Now Kovacic. Receives back from the captain. The shot is low and pumped away by Gonda. Corner kick to follow first for Croatia and we get a clear replay of that. Obviously not a goal has been headed off the line. But uh, Livakovic has got into it. It was defender Juranovic that headed the ball away. So what to make of the corner kick from the right side. It's a short pass to Kramaric. Kramaric now shifts it in front of goal. The one has headed away. Gets to Kovacic. Modric. Modric tempted to shoot maybe. It's been dispossessed by Yoshida. Maeda. Maeda's looking through ball to Ito. Continues the run. Ball given away to Kovacic. Vardio. Brozovic. Ball given away to Ito. Kamada. Kamada advancing. Kamada with a great pass for Morita. And Japan take the lead. Excellent passing leading up to this goal. Wonderfully worked by the Japanese side. And I can't wait to watch the replay. Baiting the two defenders there to open up space for his teammate. Passed it at just the right moment. And Morita had all the space and time needed there to score this goal. Beautiful placement on the shot. Japan leading after almost half an hour in this match. Let's see how Croatia will recover from this. Levine possession of the ball passes to Gvardiol. It gets to Brozovic. Passes back to the Croatian defender. Kramaric. Kramaric passing to Livaya. Tries to get past the defense. Similar pass for the Japanese goal and Kramaric scores. That's a great way to come back in the game. Scoring the equalizer after just three minutes. And really a similar goal to what we've seen earlier. A shot close to the goalkeeper, but was powerful. Didn't connect with the ball to punch it away. It's a great equalizing goal scored by Kramaric. And so. We're back to square one in a matter of only a few minutes. But Japan is trying to take the lead again. Maeda, not a successful pass. It's been intercepted by Kovacic. Here's Juranovic, good control on the ball. They'll have to pass it to Timmy now. Finds Kovacic. Kramaric. Kramaric continues the run. Looks good. Yes, he'll be able to cross. Does that. It's headed away by Tom Yasu. And a shot attempted by Kovacic. Well dealt by the Japanese defense. Juranovic. Kramaric is onside. Passes to Levaya. Tries to get in front of goal. Tom Yasu was there to clear it. Perisic was waiting for the ball in front of goal. And that's potentially going to be a yellow card. Just a warning this time, but it is the last time. Very poor tackle from Sosa. Time quickly passing in this match, as it is action-packed. And uh, both teams level with one goal scored each. Japan not uh, enjoying that lead for too long. Croatia is now trying to build something. The ball has been given away by Levaya. Ito. 
bounce to Tomiyasu. Tanaka with a pass to Kamada. He loses it to Modric. And now Levoya. Kovacic, Brozovic. Kovacic again. Kramaric. Maritza wins the ball back for Japan, but the throw in has been given away. Kovacic, good looking pass to Uranovic. Nagatom was quick to react and hold the attack. Kamada, very nice looking pass on the left side to Maeda. Has to pass it behind to Kamada. Could have passed it again to his teammate on his right. Levaya close to winning the ball back, but it ain't safely in Gonda's hands. Let's see if we'll have any minutes added to this first half. Perhaps just one. Yep, that's exactly the time added. And Japan wants to get the lead right before the break. The cross deflected and now the ball's won by Juranovic. Half-time whistle. Japan and Croatia level at the break. 1-1 the score. It's been a very, very beautiful first half of football. Balanced, action-packed, end-to-end. It's hard to pick a winner in this one. I cannot predict who's going to get it or if it's going to be won in the second half. So stay tuned for the remaining 45. Time to get things going in the second half of this round of 16 match. Japan against Croatia. One all the score as you know. And if you didn't miss the first half then you know these two sides have played some very good football. That's why it was hard to separate them really. Let's see if they'll find a winning goal or goals in the second half. Or if we'll need extra time. Perisic is trying to advance on the left side. Avoids his opponent and it's a good pass to Levaya. He's going to take the shot from there. Got close enough considering the distance. But I think he could have used a bit more power. In fact, the shot has been deflected. That's why they are awarded the corner kick here. I think um, it was definitely reaching the target if it had been deflected. Attempted header. Ball cleared away by Tan Taniguchi. Now Kramaric. Not find space for a shot, but... He does cut past the defence, however his pass does not reach a teammate. It's won back by Croatia, Livaya with a chance once again to shoot, and this time it is a post. I think we would have had at least this as a result of his previous shot. He tried it again, this time he has found a target, but by hitting the post, and it remains 1-1. Ball kicked in front. Won back by Croatia. Brozovic trying to find Perisic on the left. It's a successful pass and the ball gets to Modric now. Running past his opponent. Trying to get in the box now. Bounces to Kovacic. Back with Modric. Modric. The pass and the shot now stopped by Nagatomo. Ball cleared away from danger. Kamada to Tanaka. Here's Morita with the ball. A teammate on the left side with a lot of space. They don't get the ball to him. Ito only now passes to Nagatomo. Inside the box, he attempts the shot, but doesn't get close. And Endo now is going to replace Morita for Japan. No changes yet made by the Croatians. More shots on target for Japan, as you can see. But most of them came in the first half because until now we haven't seen them reach the target. We'll try again. Endo with a pass to Tanaka. Gets to Kamada somehow. Ito. The shot is stopped. And then the ball retained by Levakovic. One hour gone. Still nothing to separate these two sides. Ito, Tanaka. Here's Kamada with the ball facing the Croatian defenders there. Couldn't pass it back to his teammates. The attack breaks down. 
And now Croatia with a chance to counter-attack Kovacic. Kovacic, look at all that space he has to advance. Needs more teammates to support him. That's an excellent tackle by Yoshida in the penalty box. Clean that's the whistle. Endo. Ito. Ito. Passing on the left side to Maeda. Kamada. Finds Tanaka. Kanada again. He could shoot, does that, and that's an excellent save by Livakovic. It would have been their second goal. Another change for Japan. Asano now replacing Kamada. Providing support for the attacking department to get what they hope will be the winning goal. Crossed inside. And it's going to be another corner. Let's see if Ito will provide a better cross. Headed by Maeda. Ball cleared away by Sosa. It's with Endo, and it's a goal! What a strike to grab the second goal, the player that has come off the bench just a few minutes ago. Let's take another look at that. It's been headed in front. Oh my. A big defensive error there, look at that. Both defenders stepping on each other's toes. And Ender was able to turn around and strike this one, I would say, close to perfection. Right down the middle, close to the goalkeeper, but very powerful. And in the end, an unstoppable shot. Japan leading again as we have entered the last 20 minutes. Look at him still going on the right side. A low cross dealt with by Guardiol. The ball back with the Japanese player. It's Ito. His shot will not bother Livakovic. Nagatomo stepping off now for Japan. Modric. Oh. It's not going to be a, a free kick awarded as they kick the ball. Tanaka. Trying to hold the ball as long as possible. Ito. And free kick awarded to Japan. Shot, finds the side that it was a good attempt at the end, but Tanaka is furious that he hasn't scored. Certainly really wanted a comfortable two-goal lead here. But it still looks good for Japan as we're approaching the last 10 minutes. Croatia hasn't created any chances lately. Perisic. With the ball, finds Kovacic. With a bit of luck, it gets back to Perisic. Perisic, the shot stopped by Gonda. And now the ball cleared away by Taniguchi. Endo. A pass in the middle to Asano. Does it get it to a teammate? So sad. Oh, great tackle there by Doan. Throwing awarded to Croatia. And another change in the making. Maya replacing Levaya. Brozovic. Sosa. Brozovic. 
It's cut off by Endo. Tanaka. Ito. It's back with Croatia now. Kovacic. Juranovic. Brozovic. Modric to Perisic. And it's stopped by Yoshida. Maeda. Excellent tackle by Brozovic to win it back. Time is ticking away and Croatia are chasing the equaliser. Perisic with the shot, no problem at all for Shuchi Gonda. That's a great pass. Doan has to pass it behind to Tanaka. Tomiyasu. Asano. Asano. Stopped by Vardio. One minute left. Croatia's very last chance if they get the ball in front. No time left for anything else. Japan beat Croatia and advanced to the quarterfinals to continue this mesmerizing World Cup run. It's been a friendly match and I do believe Japan are the deserved winners here. Scored two great goals, especially the second one. Goal scorer right here, Wataru Endo. And they are through to the next round. Thank you for watching. This has only been the first of two matches. The upcoming one in a few hours, another round of 16 match of course, Brazil will face South Korea.